Forming a hypothesis. Now it's your turn to be a scientist and design a good experiment. No science experiments start with an unanswered question. Students wondered how dinosaur footsteps could show how large the animal was. This was their question. Question. Does the length of your leg affect the distance between your footsteps? The students turn the question into a statement that can be tested. This is called a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an if-then statement. So they, here they have, if the leg is longer, then the distance between the footsteps will be greater. I don't really understand this, why this whole sentence. Okay, so go ahead and read it, and then we'll talk about it. So, most sciences experiments start with them. Up here. Oh, now. Yes. Okay, now it's your turn to be a scientist and design a good experiment. Most scientists experiment with a start of an unanswered question. <coughs> Students wondered how dinosaur can could show how the large the animal was. This this was their question. Question: Does the length of your leg affect the distance between your footsteps? The students turned the question into a statement. That's an if-then statement. There's a lot of longer. Then the distance between the footsteps will be greater. Okay, so let's talk about this. So we know that in the scientific method, you first start with a question, right? Yep. So let's take your example about the pillow with your grandpa. So your question was, why was my grandpa's pillow on that side of the bed, right? Okay, so that's your question. So the next step, is to make a hypothesis, right? Yeah. So you take your question, so here it would be, why is my grandpa's pillow on that side of the bed? And you're going to take that question and make it into a sentence. So that means that you have to you know, change the words so that it's not a question anymore, but you're still kind of um, talking about the same thing. But you need to include the word if, and you need to include the word then, okay? So this would be your hypothesis. So it could be, if my grandpa's pillow was on this side of the bed, then um, it means that it was cold last night or it was hot last night.